Well, you, you're here, you've practiced in here, but what are you telling the team about playing a game in this building? We haven't talked about it other than it's very matter of fact. Our guys are really excited to come over here and play. Uh, the women done a nice job for us, letting us go in their room and make it our home. And uh, our guys are excited to be here. I, I think the environment's going to be fun. It's a little bit different for everybody that's associated with the program, but we haven't talked about it. We haven't made a big deal about it at all. Is there anything different about the rink that will come into play during the series? Well, we're used to it. I mean, we, we practice here all year, so we practice here more than we do at the shop. You count in one hand how many times we were in the shop the second half of the year. So, I mean, we, a better advantage here for us than it is even playing at the shop. Uh, you talk about the atmosphere. You think maybe with the small environment here and the crowd right on top of them that that could make a difference in this series? It's going to be exciting. I, I don't, you know, Ferris is used to that. If you go to Ferris's building, very similar. I mean, obviously a little bit bigger, and, and uh, but they're used to it. A low ceiling, no bleachers on one side of the ice, so I, I don't think it's going to affect them a ton. I think it's just going to be in fun environment. I think it's going to be loud. It's going to be exciting in here. Might be a little sloppy after two teams having two weeks off the first period, so it'll be interesting to see. I was going to say, how do you feel like you, you get the guys ready for uh, coming back off a of bye week? Is there anything you can do to kind of get them? Not really. I mean, our, our whole our whole thought process was take last week, let's get healed up, let's get uh, mentally recharged. Physically, obviously, it helps us out. We were a little banged up, but um, our guys came back this week, and we, we thought Monday and Tuesday would be a struggle as much time as we did take off. Uh, but the guys were flying, uh, and today might have been a little bit sloppy, but that's okay the day before a game. You mentioned injury. Is that extra week help Curtis? Will Curtis play this weekend? Definitely helps Curtis. Definitely helps Al um, McLean. Uh, a couple other guys are banged up, so it was it allowed us to get a little bit more healed up and uh, a little bit more fresh. So do you expect Al to be able to go? We're hoping. Yeah, we're yeah. hoping so. I mean, that certainly can help us on the blue line. Challenges that they've they, they're experienced. They've been at they've been at this. Um, great success last year. A lot of guys back off that squad. Uh, coached extremely well. Um, I think the other challenges that they present just their transition. They skate extremely well. Do a nice job on faceoffs. Run a lot of different faceoff plays. Our centers and forwards have to be aware. Um, but we have to have our skating legs to be able to transition both defensively and offensively. Is there a different? way you coach in a best of three this isn't a one-off game you know at least for Friday night that, you know one goal may not decide the series per se but you know, there's a different way to coach a team that hey this is a long series and, and don't get rattled yeah I mean it, just stay the course and I don't have too many highs too many lows and, and just stay the course and um, a three game series is short uh, so that first game is important you mentioned the shootout. You don't have to worry about the shootout now. <laughs> no, thank God. A relief for the coaching staff that you know you, don't, you said you don't like it, obviously. Well, I, I mean, I, I I understand. I mean, you go watch NHL hockey and and college hockey or whatever USHL, and shootouts are exciting when you're in the stands. Uh, not so much when you're, you're in the crease or you're on the bench. Um, but I understand why it's there. Try to get some finality to a game rather than uh, walking away with a tie. Um, the guys, nobody in this program at this point has been to this level of the CCJ playoffs yet. Is there anything you can do to kind of get them ready for what this is all about, or do you think they? No, we did so. We do? did so in Miami. Uh, I think that was playoff mentality hockey, and if our guys can walk away from that and understand that that series, uh, Friday night was a battle, Saturday night was a battle, and if they can take that and bottle that and understand what that was all about, that's playoff hockey.